Welcome into another 1031 disc golf video. Whether you're newer to the sport of disc golf or you've been playing for a while, there's a lot of different terms in disc golf that you may not know what they mean. So today, welcome to Disc Golf Terms with Isaac. Let's get into it. First, we're gonna be going over hyzer and anheiser. Hyzer is whenever you throw the disc and the angle of it is tilted away from you like that and Anheuser is the opposite of that. So it's tilted towards you. Next, we have overstable and understable. And most of this flights, I'm gonna be talking about a right hand backhand. So if you're a lefty or for forehand, it'll be the opposite. A overstable disc goes more to the left on a left hand back, on a right hand backhand. And an understable disc goes more right. So an overstable disc, people use for flex shots because you can throw it on Anheuser like I just said and it flexes out because of the overstability and understable discs are most used for either turnover shots and you throw them on Anheuser and they hold that line or you throw them on Heiser and they flip up to flat or they turn over if it's a flippy enough disc which is another term for understable and another term for overstable is beefy. I know it sounds weird. I don't know why. That, that's just the term for it. Next we have circle one and circle two. This is a circle around the basket and it's circle one is 10 meters or 32.8 feet around the basket. And inside that circle, you cannot step in front of your disc and you have to keep your balance behind your disc. But if you're outside of circle one and you're in circle two, you can step putt or jump putt or do any of those things. You don't have to stay behind your disc, but you cannot have, your foot cannot touch the ground before your, the disc releases from your hand. So that is circle one and circle two. Next we have parked. If you're parked at the basket, usually that means that you have a gimme putt or just an easy putt in general. This one might be an easy one. We have OB and this just stands for out of bounds. Next we have pin high. Say you have a 300 foot hole dead straight and you throw the disc 300 feet, but you end up 40 foot right of the basket that would be pin high because you threw it the length of the hole, but you're just not at the basket, you're pin high. Next we have good bid. I feel like I hear this the most out of pretty much anything in disc golf. This basically means good try. Like if you have a 30 foot putt and you hit the cage or hit the band or you just missed the putt and somebody says good bid, they're basically just saying good try. Oh, good bid, good bid, really. Next we have breakfast, which is a term I use. I've also heard two off the tee or Tennessee two. This basically means in a casual round, you can't do this in a tournament round, but on hole one, you throw one shot and maybe it's good, but it's not great, or maybe it's just bad. And you throw another one and you can choose out of those two shots. And also what I've started doing is we made up the rule where you can throw three shots, but if you throw three, you have to take it. So if it's a bad shot, doesn't matter, you have to take it. Nose up and nose down. Like I said, that hyzer is like this, Anheuser is like this, nose up is like this, and nose down is like this. So the nose is the front of the disc. Next we have grip lock, which is something I'm way too familiar with. This is whenever you're teeing off on the tee and say you accidentally yank it right. Normally that would be a grip lock because you just don't release the disc where you want and you end up holding on too long that's a grip lock. Next, we have a flick. This is a forehand term. Basically, if you do a standstill and you just give it, give it a little pop or like a little flick with your hand, that would be a flick. Next, we have power grip and fan grip. This is just the way you hold the disc. So this is a power grip. There's different ways to do a power grip. This is how I do it. And there's also a fan grip. This is the way I fan grip it. And I know there's a lot of different ways you can do that also, but this is power, this is fan. I think the reasoning for doing these is a, a power grip like this, you can get more spin on the disc and a fan grip, you can get more, you can get less spin on it. And most of the time, I think people use a fan grip for either putters or mid ranges. And a fan grip is mainly used for all the other discs. I personally use only a fan grip for putters. I don't use it and I use power grip for basically everything else. Next we have death putt. 
This means that basically you're looking at a putt and there's either water behind it or there's a hill behind it or there's a drop off. So if you run that putt and you miss it, you're running the risk of it going down the hill or in the water or OB. Most of the time people lay them up. Next we have Mando. This is just short for mandatory. So if you see an arrow on a tree, say it's pointing left, then you have to go to the left of that tree or if it's pointing right, then you have to go to the right of that tree. And if you miss it, then you get a stroke on your score and you have to take it most of the time by the Mando sign. Next, we have mulligan. This is another term that came from golf. And say you just want to retry at a shot or a putt or something, you just say, I'm going to take a mulligan and then you just throw another shot. That cannot be done in tournaments, by the way. All right, now we have star frame. This means that everybody on your card or who you're playing with all birdied the same hole. So if you had a card of three and you all birdied the hole, then that would be a star frame. This term is called nubbed. These on top of the basket are called nubs. So if you throw a putt and it comes in and hits that and bounces out, or maybe you get really lucky and it hits it and bounces in, that is called getting nubbed. For our last term today, this is the Texas flip. I think there's a lot of different terms for this one also, but it's basically, if you don't have a mini, you can only do this in a casual round, not in a tournament round. You instead flip the disc instead of putting a mini down. And that is all for disc golf terms with Isaac. Make sure to comment down below any terms that you think I missed. And if we have enough of them, maybe I'll do a part two to this. Thanks for watching.